Hello, I'm Pastor Chris Henderson from Wellspring Fellowship, and today, all around the world, Christians are celebrating the resurrection of Christ, and while we come from different traditions and different worship traditions, uh, we at the Key Peninsula Ministerial Association wanted to bless you and give you our Easter blessings and just recognize that there's one church on the KP. And uh, we are here together to stand together in unity, proclaiming with all the saints, not only on the KP, but in all of the earth and uh, for all time, that Jesus Christ has risen again. Listen to the proclamation of Peter in 1 Peter 3, 3-9. through 9. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through the faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all of this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief of all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. On behalf of all of us here at Wellspring Fellowship, we pray that today you are indeed filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy as you proclaim the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hello everyone there uh, on the Key Peninsula and beyond from Waypoint South. I just want to greet you and say uh, happy Resurrection Sunday. I'm reminded of the scripture 1 Corinthians 15 where it says essentially that we are the biggest fools of all if there's no resurrection from the dead and we truly believe that Jesus raised from the dead and in that 1 Corinthians 15 talks about how he conquered death he conquered sin all of those different things and so in the midst of all of this I'm here in quarantine you know I haven't gone out of my house for a serious like social gathering for a long time I've got my geese and my ducks and my chickens to keep me company and my my family but it's just a little bit weird but Jesus is above all of that and someday just as we hope to see him again I hope to see you again I hope that all of our churches even can get together again this summer I hope that our community can get together I hope to see you at Costco sometime in the next few months and so just looking forward to that day I want to say Jesus is still powerful amidst all of the craziness thank you well greetings on this resurrection Sunday from the Long Branch Community Church I am Pastor John Day and I would like to issue this word of encouragement and hope to you all because we are walking through some very scary and uncertain times with the continuing onslaught and ravages of this coronavirus we've seen what it's done in China Iran Italy Spain and now in our own cities and communities Seattle New York Chicago New Orleans where will it spread to next how much death and grief will it leave in its wake these are very real questions and we have anxieties we have fears and because it could hit very close to home each of us faces the threat and potential of infection and even death for ourselves and for our families our friends and acquaintances those we love and respect but on this day we as the pastors of the key peninsula want to issue a word of hope because on this day the world was overturned on this day the power of death was defeated on this day our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ crucified dead and buried was raised very physically very tangibly was raised transformed in glory was raised from the dead and that changes absolutely everything we can now face death without panic and fear we can face whatever might come with peace and confidence as Jesus himself said to the Apostle John as he also says to us at the beginning of that last verse uh, excuse me that last book in the scriptures Revelation chapter 1 verses 17 and 18 he says fear not I am the first and the last and the living one 
I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of, you know, the, the, the control over, the opening of those prison doors. I have the keys of death and Hades, the grave, the realm and power of death. Brothers and sisters, we serve a Lord who is Lord over all. And we acknowledge that truism here, that because he was raised from death, I no longer need fear death. Because he was raised from death, he is Lord over death. Because he was raised from death, I too will be raised. Death is not Lord. The fear of death has no mastery over me or anyone else who places their hope and their trust in him. Jesus is Lord. We proclaim that today. Rest in that hope, beloved. I bring you Easter greetings from Key Peninsula Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Anna Bonero. Martin Luther wrote, Our Lord has written the promise of resurrection, not in books alone, but in every leaf in springtime. I don't think any of us expected to be celebrating Easter this year in this way. And I would challenge you in those times when you're struggling to feel, to see, to experience that resurrection that God promises to us, that you go outside and you take a walk. Because I know that you'll see God's resurrection in full bloom all around you. And I leave you with a resurrection account from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came, and he rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guard shook and became like dead man. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who is crucified. He is not here for he has been raised. And he said, come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee, where you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Hallelujah! Christ is risen. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tim Stobie. I am one of the pastors at Waypoint Church. Most of the time, you can find me at Waypoint North. I wanted to share with you uh, the witness that the Apostle Paul uh, gave uh, as he wrote to the Corinthians. This is 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and following. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, that's Peter, and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also as to one abnormally born. Paul just means there at the end um, that, that his encounter with Jesus happened later and in a much different circumstance, but it was legitimate nonetheless. Uh, with all of that said, uh, I wanted to wish you and yours a very, very happy Easter. May your day uh, be filled with uh, the joy and the goodness. May it be awesome in every way. Uh, and uh, just that it would be uh, a delight for you. Uh, happy Easter, everybody. God bless you. Easter greetings to you from Grace Presbyterian Church. I'm Ed Longabaugh, pastor of that church. As a pastor, 
Easter is an exciting time of year, but it's also a time that can cause a little bit of panic because as a pastor, you're always looking for new ways to speak of the resurrection in ways that perhaps people haven't grasped before. Now, for me as a kid, Easter was all about chocolate Easter bunnies. But as a new believer in my 20s, I understood very quickly that the resurrection, Easter, is the central part of our faith. But it wasn't until I came across the book of Romans, chapter 6, that I began to understand why that is. And there Paul writes that if we have been baptized into Christ, we've been baptized into his death. And that alone was a kind of an aha moment, because now I understood that Jesus had to die so I wouldn't have to. Then you read about the part how we're buried with him, that we're truly dead. But then the part that makes sense of Easter is this. If we have been united with him in his death, we will also be united with him in his resurrection. That's it. Jesus was raised from the dead so that he, everything about him, would be vindicated. But not only that, if I'm part of his resurrection, I'm vindicated too. He did that for me. That's amazing. And in the 40 years since then, I have begun slowly to comprehend more and more about the resurrection. But in recent years, there's another verse that's been tugging at my heart. This one from the letter to the Philippians. And in it, Paul writes this. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings and somehow to be resurrected from the dead myself. If I understand this, your resurrection and mine isn't just in the future. It has a power even now. It has the power to make every ambition that we ever had worthless by comparison to this one thing, to know Christ. I want to know Christ more than anything, he says, to know him in whose resurrection I have been given a part. My Easter wish for all of us is that we would all know our part in the resurrection and to press on to win the prize for which God has called all of us heavenward in Christ Jesus. May you have a happy and blessed Easter. Good morning, everybody. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. I'm Dan Whitmarsh, the pastor of the Lake Bay Church. And on behalf of all the people at Lake Bay, I want to, uh, to wish you all a blessed and joyous Resurrection Sunday, no matter where this finds you. I'd like to read a very brief portion of one of the most famous Easter sermons ever written. This is St. John Chrysostom's Paschal Homily, written in the 4th century still read in Orthodox churches every Easter Sunday to this day, may it give you encouragement and hope in this day. No one need lament poverty in God's universal kingdom. No one need grieve their sin. Forgiveness is dawned from the tomb. No one need fear death. The Savior's death has freed us from it. While it's captive, he ended it. The grave received a body and met God. It took earth and came face to face with heaven. It took what it saw and fell by what it could not see. O oh, death, where is your sting? Grave, where is your victory? Christ is risen, and you are overthrown. Christ is risen, and demons have fallen. Christ is risen, and angels rejoice. Christ is risen and life rules. Christ is risen and not one dead remains in the tomb. For Christ, having been risen from the dead, has become the firstfruits of all who slept. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Christ is risen, friends, and the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is at work in each and every one of us. So find hope and encouragement in these words. Remember that the churches of the Key Peninsula are here to support our communities, so if you find yourself in need, please reach out to one of the pastors or one of the churches, and we would be glad to do what we can do. 
to help meet all the great needs facing us in this time. Be blessed, friends, for Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Then on the third, at break of dawn, the Son of Him.